Trinity B1 ISC1 Four Skills Test CELT Secure English Language Tests B1 English Test ISC1 Skilled Worker Health and Care Worker Scale-Up Worker Student Visas This is Trinity College London ISC1. My name is Angelina. I am your interlocutor for your speaking and listening test. What's your full name? <coughs> My full name is Arvind Pai Josi. I'm from India mm -hmm. and now I'm currently living in the UK. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's your yeah. topic's title for today? My topic is about the hobbies, what I most like to do in my free time or whatever, whenever I get the time. So I, I, I love to read the books whenever I get the time. Also, I love to not travel. Like this. Not like this. When examiner will say, what's your topic, Saddle? You will say hobbies. And when examiner, okay. say, examiner will say, what are your four topic points? Then you will say, uh, my four topic points are reading, traveling, meeting friends, and spending time with family. You will take this paper with you, okay? To okay. the examination room. Uh, and, and your examiner will take it from you before the exam will begin. Okay. Understand it or not? The first yeah, question yeah, yeah. the examiner will ask you is what's your full name? The examiner will okay. never ask your nationality, but just check your identity card. After that, okay. um, examiner will ask you the next question. What's your topic's title? Yeah. So like basically in IELTS, we need to give some extra answer as well. So in yeah. this... Uh, in this one, you can in... talk at... See, speaking is very short in this section, like four minutes just for this discussion and two minutes for an extra conversation. This, the test speaking test is finished within seven minutes. It's so actually uh, just okay. have an engaging conversation with your uh, examiner, okay? okay. So, so uh, like this one word answer is fine as well. Why would you give one word answer? Examiner will ask like, you elaborative questions. No, right? no, no, like this, this thing, what is your topic? So just my topic is hobby, that's all. My topic is hobbies, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's start our work. This is Trinity College London, ISC1. My name's Angelina. I am your interlocutor for your speaking and listening test. What's your topic's title? Yeah, my, my topic title is hobbies. What are your four topic points? A four topic point is like, first one is a reading. Four Second topic time. points are, you will say my four topic points four are, topic because it's more than yeah. My four topic points are reading, traveling, meeting of friends, and spending time with my families. Good, 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 good. Family. All right, yeah. Once again, what are your four topic points? My four topic, four po topic, po <laughs> four. <laughs> okay, my four. Do hmm? you want me to write it? Points are reading. Yes. Yeah, my mm. four topic points are read, traveling, meeting with meeting friends, and spend time with my family. Mm. Mm. All right, what kind of things do you like to read? I I love to read uh, the business strategy things. But at the same point, when I am getting bored about the business state of these things, then I love to read the comic books as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How often do you read these books? Most often, like, most probably in the morning time or in the evening time. Like, in the, once in a day, I read the one page one page of book in a day. Okay, so would you please tell me uh, about a book that you've read recently? Recently, I uh, uh, recently I read is the MBA book. The full name is the Management of a Business, and also same time I read is the Rich Dad and Poor Dad. All right, uh, okay. 
better. Uh, could you tell me about what kind of books uh, you used to read in your childhood? Sorry, come again, please. What kind of books you used to read in your childhood? Childhood. Childhood. In my childhood, mostly in, oh, like, I don't know. This book I read, you know. Yeah, in my childhood, like my standard, like, education book what we have in you know, our sc primary schools and nursery schools and also mm -hmm. like cartoon type of books you can say that um you can say that i like i liked to read story books in my childhood english yes. books all right Okay, all right. But this point is okay. I think you can manage now. Um, traveling. Um, could you tell me about the places you like to travel? I love to place. Uh, I love to travel to Paris. Okay. How often, Still, do you, how often do you go there? I've never been there. So uh, my question is not uh, how, where would you like to travel. I'm asking where do you like to travel? The places where you already go to. Or I love to travel in Goa, in my country. Hmm. Okay, like, and what activities in, do you do when you're traveling? I'm seeing the beaches, enjoying in the beaches. I go to the, like, viewing the seas and enjoying in the beaches with my friends and play a lot of games with friends. Hmm. And also, after they go for the pub and hang out with the friends. Mm. Okay. And also, there is uh, there is a lot of uh, different kind of viewpoint over there around the whole city. So we are going to the for the long drive, and I don't know. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Should be in my should be in my. Mm hmm. Uh, mm hmm. One sorry, ma'am. One second. Checking my. Second, I don't know. No, it's don't remember that. Yar, yar, nahi ho kya mukhe. Um, sorry, yeah. Okay, no worries. Uh, could you tell me about a place where you would like to travel in the future and why? I. Uh, I love to travel to Paris because it's a Paris is a city of the love as well. Mm -hmm. And also I love the structure of the Paris and I saw the, a lot of video and picture about the Paris and there is a some history mm -hmm. about the Paris. So I love to travel to Paris because I heard about uh, about the Paris, a lot of from my friends and colleagues as well. All right. What kind of weather do you prefer when you're traveling? I prefer like a monsoon mm. or winter. I don't know the weather. Mm. Oh. All right. All right. Hello. Now, uh, okay. What do you do when you meet your friends? What do you do when you meet your friends? Sorry, ma'am. Uh, when when I meet my friends, I go. We are gossiping about the everything, mostly what was going on in our life, what's going on with the everyone else and then we discuss about the past future and what's what's currently going on with the world and we decide about the what we we will do and which which mistake we are we was doing before and we we need to improve ourselves and about the all all that kind of the things we are talking 
together mm. and after that we are like some kind of dead jokes and jokes and we're gonna start to laughing and whatever we just mm-hmm. try to make laugh to each other and we mostly we're trying to t- like spend the quality time with with the old friends mm. and then we are going for the lunch or dinner somewhere Mm-hmm. And then we, if someone is not here, then we're gonna call them and they come together and we just spending the time and gossiping about the life and then go back to home. Do you think it is important to meet friends? Yeah, it's it's the most important thing to meet the friend because when you're getting a stress, uh, some some points you cannot cannot share with your family and you cannot share with your bosses or whatever you're working with your colleague as well. A lot of points you cannot share with anybody. So when you meet your pure, like with your friends, you can share whatever you want because you know they're gonna, they don't judge you, what you say. Or if you are, if you are any in any trouble, they're gonna help you how much they can. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, so this is the most important part where you need to meet the friends. How like when you can. Or if any time, if you can, if you have time and your friend is free, you need to meet them. And because this is life, you, you're getting a stress about your family, you're getting a stress about the job or whatever you do, if you work, yeah, if you do business, whatever you do. But like when you're getting a stress, you cannot share with anybody. So these things is the most important thing when you meet your friend, you share about your life and whatever you think. So yeah, it, this is the most important thing in the life, according to me. Mm. All right. And uh, could you please tell me about the activities that you enjoy doing with your family? Uh, first of all, I love to spend I love to spend the quality time with my family. Just enjoy the enjoy the family time. If we are first uh, when we are at, everyone at home, we are. Yeah, like dinner together, lunch together, breakfast together. Mm. We are going out together. Mm. Yeah, we are go for the shopping together. Mm. We are watching movie together. Mm-hmm. So when you're spending the time with your family, then then you're gonna realize, and the, this is the most important thing in the life as well. The second thing. Okay, and um, do you like to buy gifts for your family? Of course, whenever I go go home like if I'm working far from home mm. or if I'm visiting once in a month or twice in a month or six six months in a once then of course if I'm going then I I buy them I buy gift for the each and every person mm-hmm. that's nice so, all right yeah of thank course you, so. thank you so much this is the end of this round you have done a very good job okay just a little bit of practice, and I'm sure you'd be more than fluent. Yeah, because in the first time, of course, I'm nervous as well. Yeah, and worry. one of my, and one of my friends bothering me a lot of stuff. No issues. Okay, next comes the conversation part, and an examiner can choose any topic of his or her choice. <coughs> so lately, right. this topic has been so popular. It rules in your country. So I'm going to choose the same topic for you as well. What are the rules in your country? The rules. Hmm. Which kind of rules? Rules related to traffic, related to children, related to citizenship. <clears throat> what are the rules? Rules and regulations in your country? In my country, <clears throat> in my country, my country is what to say, like election and everything. Oh, rules. See, there are traffic rules in your country. There are rules related to children. That children must not do trial labor. There are rules related to, to that you can't do something, um, a job like that is official job until you're 18, right? Yeah. You can't get a driving license until you're 18. And you yeah. can't work in bars or clubs or somewhere else until you have reached the age. Uh, probably yeah. besides that, uh, the rule in the country is also to... Uh, respect all religions and uh, you know also what, mm. what else I don't know I don't I don't know more but you know there are rules related to citizenship or civic facilities 
uh, that you know uh, how much uh, when you should be paying your bills how much should be the rent these are rules right so uh, okay. think about it what are the rules in your country mostly the rules are related to education traffic rules means principles yeah mm. Mm. I don't because I never follow the rules, so I don't know which is the rules. It's so. not, uh, no, but you must know what are the rules in your country. Yeah, like in my country, it's like animal rules a... are there too that you can't hurt animals, right? You can't hurt animals. Also, there is a, like in my country is a, there is a three category. Like until eighteen, you are the child. Mm. So under eighteen, you cannot get the driving license. Mm -hmm. you cannot uh, get the passport yeah you can apply for the passport but but there is a still you cannot get the full passport as well mm -hmm. like with your identity and also under 18 you cannot drive a car cannot drive anything because you cannot get the driving license mm -hmm. and after that 18 to 60 mm -hmm. You are, uh, you are in an adult category. After sixty, you are in a city, senior citizen category. Mm -hmm. So. So this is yeah, also after, a rule in the country that senior citizens cannot work office jobs. Yeah. They can't take. Yeah. After sixty, you cannot work as well. Mm -hmm. And. Mm -hmm. uh, now is, uh, if you applying for the any kind of the government job. Mm -hmm. You must be done graduation minimum, bachelor mm -hmm. degree minimum. That's all right. I understand that one as well. Okay, thank you. Now, I want you to ask me two questions about rules in my country. Two questions. Yep. You ask me two questions about rules in my country. You, Arvin, will ask questions yeah, from yeah, exam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. What is the rule about? Uh, in your country about the citizenship? I think there are many rules related to civic facilities. Uh, housing must yeah. be given on a fixed rate and there are rates related to rents or even purchasing houses, interest rate, and also mm -hmm. rules related to paying bills on a certain date. And if you don't pay your bills for two months, you know, you will be... Yeah you will be getting rid of all the facilities like gas, water, electricity at home. So I think the yeah. rules are very clear uh, to remain a citizen. And also, you can't do any kind of crime, right? That's also a rule. Yeah. If you want to live in, a, live in a respectable society, this is a rule that you must not do anything illegal. Uh, that's mm -hmm. also a rule in the country. Yeah. And so, what is the minimum age? Then children or like anyone can start the job. Uh, what are the rules related to employment? Oh, yeah, what is the rules related to employment? Uh, probably nobody uh who is under eighteen can do office jobs. Besides that, I think freelancing everybody does it, but not allowed on official level. Uh, thank you. Thank you for your. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is the end of the test. Okay, you need to work a little bit on your questions also, because the marks yeah. are given for questions as well. Okay. Anyways, Arvin, you do not have to worry. This is a very easy test. I can show you a uh, a little bit of listening as well, so that you yeah. can have an idea. What do you have to do with the listening test? All right. Thank you. Have you ever heard a recording about squirrels? About? Squirrels. No. I would want you to listen to the recording twice. Take your paper and pen, write down some important information. Then I will ask you six questions about the recording. All right, just one second. ISC 1, task 1. Today, I'm going to tell you about a small wild animal called the squirrel. Now, the first thing that I would like to tell you is that squirrels usually make their homes in very high places. Amazingly, 
Baby squirrels are only two centimetres long when they are born. How about food? Well, young squirrels go out looking for food in the daytime. These young squirrels usually come back to their home at night time because they feel safe there. That seems to make sense. We know that squirrels are very intelligent animals because they hide food under the ground for the winter. Now then, let's see. What else can I tell you? The squirrels' front teeth never stop growing all their life. Now it's time to have a look at the life of another interesting animal. Let's look at... Now listen again. Today, I'm going to tell you about a small wild animal called the squirrel. Now, the first thing that I would like to tell you is that squirrels usually make their homes in very high places. Amazingly, baby squirrels are only two centimetres long when they are born. How about food? Well, young squirrels go out looking for food in the daytime. These young squirrels usually come back to their home at night time because they feel safe there. That seems to make sense. We know that squirrels are very intelligent animals because they hide food under the ground for the winter. Now then, let's see. What else can I tell you? The squirrels' front teeth never stop growing all their life. Now it's time to have a look at the life of another interesting animal. Let's look at... All right, now I'm going to ask you some yeah. follow-up questions about the recording. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Oops. Could you please tell me where do squirrels make their homes? Very high places. How big are baby squirrels at birth? Two centimeters. What do young squirrels do in the daytime? Food. They go for the food. Yes, they look for the food. Why do young squirrels return home at night? Because they feel safe. How do we know that squirrels are intelligent? Because in the winter time they, they eat in the ground. What is special about squirrels' front teeth? They've never been stopped for all life. That is correct. You have passed. Thanks. There's another part of listening also I'm sure I'll practice with you later. And this yeah. is also just like this, the one that you just heard. Well done. Now it's time to move to the reading. Mm -hmm. The reading uh, paper looks something like this. Mm, in a moment. Like this. Can you read it? Yeah. Aloud? One second, guys. I can see. <clears throat> yeah, now. Mm -hmm. Sleep is sensible for human life. You cannot actually. So from here, longer. integrated, integrated skills. Time allowed two <clears throat> yeah. hours. Time allowed to us. This example paper has four tasks. Complete the whole task. Task one, long reading. Read the following text about the sleep and answer the 15 question on page number three. Paragraph yes, one. Yes, you have one, two, three, four, five paragraphs. Yeah. Then read this. The, the text on the page number two, five paragraph, one, two, five. Choose the best title for each paragraph. Hmm. At where? Below the right letter, at where? Listen, there is 
one title you don't need to do. Do you understand? You have yeah. to the title, okay. There is a one extra title we don't need to do. Yes. Then yeah. choose the five statement from A A to H below. Hmm. That's true according to information given in the text on page number two. Written letter true statement in the line below the any order. Like one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. There's a eight statement and five okay. statements are true. We need to choose five statements, which one is true. That is right. That is correct. Yeah, like there is a three statement that, that was for false. Mm -hmm. So leave notes. Complain sentence 11 to 15 with the exit number. Word or pay. perhaps maximum three words from the text. Write the access number word and perhaps on the exact. line below. Exact number. You have to choose the exact word or number from the recording. Exact. Exact number. Word. Hmm. During a lifetime, the average person will do us. Okay. So I need to... I read the paragraph and choose the exact number or, or like minimum three words. Mm. Okay. Maximum three words. Ah, oh, yeah. Maximum three words. So no more than three words. No more if there is a number, then exact number or word, maximum three. Mm. <clears throat> Multiple text reading. Mm. Multi text reading. Mm. Read the four so text about foreign languages and answer the 15 questions on page number 4 to 6. Mm -hmm. Read the question 16 to 21st and then read text A, B, C, D below the question. Mm -hmm. As you read each text, decide which text each question refers to one letter is usually. First, I need to read the question and then I need to choose the paragraph. Text A means that was paragraph, yeah? That will be paragraph. Text A, B, C, D below the question. Yeah, okay. There is a graph. Paragraph. All right, D. And true, false again. True. Hmm? Yeah, five statement true and some extra. The yes. same thing. Yes. And second, I will just put in. Okay. Find the exact number and word, maximum three word. The same. Hmm. But maybe this one is a bit harder than before. No, this is easier. This is a summary of the previous text. All right. Mm -hmm. And then comes writing. Read it. Reading into writing. What's this? Yeah, writing article image. Yeah, this is writing, yeah? Yeah, read it. Write read an it. article for your school magazine. Hmm. 100 to 130 words about why more students should learn language hmm. so this is the topic yep and use the information you read text a b c d page four five to explain how language learning will help student in the future such as how learning a foreign language could be help their performance at the school and advise students on useful method learning for them. so basically I have a little bit example and idea as well in mm. the paragraphs. Yeah. Of course, you have to read the paragraph and then solve it because it's multi-text. All right. Re turning, reading into writing. Reading, and I need to like extra bit something from my side and I need to explain. No, nothing everything. from your side. Nothing from, okay. 
you can not copy exact words, but the information can't be untrue. You have to pick the information from the paragraph, not on your own. Yeah, yeah, yeah I understand. Mm -hmm. Lastly. Accent writing. Write the essay for your teacher about the festival in a, in a country. You know, you should give an example what happened in a festival and explain why festival is important. Okay. So this, you should plan the essay before you start writing. Think about what are going to write in the box. This is everything what I need to do myself. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, this is creative writing. Creative writing, like there is a one topic about the, for your teacher about the festival in your country. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's essay writing. Yeah. Yeah, essay. Like That's about true. the festival, about the festival in my country, I need to write any kind of festival. Mm hmm that is and why, yeah, and why is the festival is important? Yes. Yeah. That is so I need to, first first of all I need to explain the festival and then I need to prove the why is important, like one kind of test things. Yes, and you just need to write between one hundred to one hundred and thirty words. You cannot write too much. Yeah, okay. Yes, and that is all. This is the end of the test. It's not hard at all. Uh, so this is the writing, like last two paragraphs, task three and task four. Yeah. And la task one, and uh, this one, two, three, four. These four tasks for the two hours. Yeah. All right, yeah. This it's is good. very easy. Very easy, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's more easy than IELTS. IELTS is definitely harder and longer, you know? The passages no, are well, Yeah, okay. I start class. I start when I when I was in India. Hmm. And, I, and seven to eight day I quit. I left. This test is only um, available in the UK. And they have specially designed it for people living in the UK for maybe a year or more, right? So yeah. this is something that they can pass easily, and I kind of know it. Yeah, I feel it now. I can pass as well. Before I wasn't feel good. No worries. Thank you. Thank you so much. See you. See you tomorrow okay. after work. Goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye later.